Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 paper. Here we're looking at question 12. So show that 10 sine squared minus 7 cos theta plus 2 divided by 3 plus 2 cos theta is identical to this expression here. Now, what it might be tempting to do is to multiply the denominator up to the other side. No, 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 you can't do that. What we'll have to do instead is just work on the left-hand side and factorize the so factorize the denominator the numerator eventually but at the moment we've got sine and cos on the numerator so i'm going to need to turn the sine squared into 1 minus cos squared to get the ball rolling so 1 minus cos squared theta minus 7 cos theta plus 2 let's expand the brackets it's going to be 10 minus 10, sorry this is going to be over 3 plus 2 cos theta so now this is going to equal 10 minus 10 cos squared theta minus 7 cos theta plus 2. Again, over 3 plus 2 cos theta. Let's now simplify uh, everything together. So it's going to be minus 10 cos squared theta minus 7 cos theta um, plus 12 over 3 plus 2 cos theta. Now let's uh, factorize, so it's probably going to be 3 plus 2 cos theta in one bracket. So if we work out what needs to go in the other bracket, it needs to be a 4 to multiply together to make the 12, and then it's probably going to be a minus 5 cos theta to make the um, to make the minus 10 cos squared, let's just check it makes the minus 7, so it's going to be minus 15 add 8 cos theta, so yes, that will all work, and then divide that by 3 plus 2 cos theta. How did I know it would probably be 3 plus 2 cos theta? Well, it's because at this stage here, I'm going to cancel out top and bottom to leave me with just 4 minus 5 cos theta which is exactly what I want it to equal on the right-hand side. So there we are. We have shown um, part A, which is a four marker. Uh, make sure you don't move something from one side onto the other, so you are not allowed to times by 3 plus 2 cos theta onto the other side. You have to go through just working on the left-hand side, factorizing. Use the right-hand side as an educated guess as to what you're going towards. It looks like things will cancel out, so use that fact inside your workings, but don't ever move something to the other side. Okay, let's now have a go at part B. Hence or otherwise, solve for 0 to 360 the equation of this expression here equals 4 plus 3 sine x. Now I know that this expression on the left hand side is equal to 4 minus 5 cos theta, so I'll write that down, because it says it's equal to it at the top. So now it's equal to, sorry, that's just meant to be an equal sign 4 plus 3 cos um, theta, or x or theta, it doesn't really matter. So now what I'll do is I'll cancel out the 4s on both sides, because they've both got a 4 on both sides there. So now it's going to be um, minus 5 cos theta equals 3 sine theta. Now it's a sine and a cos, so I'm going to make a tan out of this. So if I divide by cos theta first, that's going to give me minus 5 equals 3 tan theta, because sine divided by cos is tan, then divide by 3, so it would be minus 5 over 3 tan equals tan theta. So now we need to work out what theta is equal to, it's going to be tan inverse minus 5 over 3. So let's grab the calculator, and it's going to be tan inverse minus 5 over 3, minus 59.0, and then I'm going to add 180 onto the value there, because that will get us up to the next solution, 121, and add 180 degrees again, add 180, and that gives us 301. So therefore, x equals 121 and 301 to three significant figures. It doesn't actually say in the question how, degree, how accurate it wants our answers, so we'll just assume that it's three significant figures then. 
And there we are, that's the answer for question 12 there, that's seven marks.